In this video, I will talk with you about a long wanted feature in our ticket storyline that's finally released in Storyline 360, the jump to time triggers. Hi, I'm Mark Spearman from Purport Online Learning, where I teach you how you can create e-learning modules yourself with Articulate Storyline. And are you new here? Then don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you won't miss any of my upcoming videos. Are you ready? Then let's get started. To show you what's possible with the jump to time triggers, I created a simple test project. It has a base layer slide and a layer on top of it. And you see here uh, three buttons, um, two on the top, one at the bottom and a text object. Uh, and now let's look at the new jump to time trigger. So for instance, what you could do here on the base layer and I click on it and see there's two actions, there must be one. What you can do with the new trigger is you can jump to a cue point or a specific time in your, uh, in your uh, on your timeline on this slide. So for instance, uh, I created a cue point here on about six seconds. So when a user clicks here on the base layer uh, button, the timeline uh, and the video will jump to six seconds. So let's preview this slide. And I click on it and you see the video jumps to six seconds and you also see that the video stops right now. So how did I do this? you can click this trigger and you can also uh, fill in a condition. I didn't do it, but you have also an option that if you jump to the specific cue point or time on your timeline that you can pause the timeline, but also that you can play the timeline. For instance, if you pause your timeline at the start of your part, uh, slide, then you can play the timeline, for instance, if you jump to 10 seconds. And you can also, um, and what's even more cooler is that you can also jump to uh, specific cue points or times in uh, on uh, layer slides. So I have here one layer and I have an object and that's visible uh, on six seconds. And I have here um, a trigger that says show laying one when the timeline starts on this slide, so on my base layer. And when, with this button, you see here that I said jump to slide, or jump to time, uh, almost six seconds on layer one, when the user clicks this button, and then I want to pause the timeline. So I'll jump from my, uh, with the button from my um, base layer to a specific time on my, uh, on my uh, layer one. So let's check it out. So I preview it, I click it here, and you'll see here that this appears now, but um, the video continues because that this is on my base layer. So you can do something with different layers. So that's really cool. Uh, another option that you have, uh, and that you can, for instance, jump back and th forth in your video. What you see here is that you can say in Articulate Storyline, now I'm going to jump to time trigger is, I want to jump backward by five seconds on the slide when a user clicks on uh, this button and it does it every time. So for instance, if I preview the slide again and I show my video and I click this button, you see it start over again. So if you want your user to, uh, yeah, that he missed a, a specific point in your video then you now can uh, insert these buttons and you can, uh, for instance, five seconds or 10 seconds, jump back to the, uh, to, to in the video every time. Now, this is back and you can also do the same for forward. So uh, let's copy, now let's create a new button from scratch. So I'll create a shape right here, um, forward arrow on it, so it's, visible and now create a new trigger so here with actions you see here we have a jump to slide jump to scene and that are uh, well-known uh, triggers uh, i hope so and you see here this is the new trigger jump to time slash cue point now, what you can do here is um 
say you need jump to time, jump to cue point, but uh, choose forward backward. And if you click here, uh, a plus is uh, five seconds uh, in the future and a minus is five seconds in the past on your video. Uh, I hope that's correct English. I don't know it for sure. So five, so five seconds on this slide when I check it. So when I preview my slide again, and you see it runs and I can see that Y isn't working. On this slide when a user clicks it must there be a plus sign in it? I know, I don't know for sure. Let's look what we've done. Jumped back forward, plus five seconds on slide uh, when user right clicks. That's not correct. When a user clicks rectangle four, I think it works right now. So let's preview this slide again. So if I click it, you see that it jumps every time five seconds. So with this, you can also create your own uh, video player if you want to, because you can uh, uh, jump backwards, jump forwards. You can play your video, pause your video. And with the new trigger, uh, what you also can do is jump to the beginning of your timeline. Let's check it out. Here you can say start of the timeline and end of the timeline. So this gives a, a, a whole lot of new possibilities. Now, if you check uh, the community forum, this feature is ask over from Storyline 1 and is now finally released in Storyline 360. So if you have any ideas what you can do for your next uh, uh, e-learning course, uh, put it in the comments below this video and I will promise to answer it. Do you have any questions about embedding your Articulate Storyline course in WordPress or about Articulate Storyline in Common? Then please comment below these videos and I promise to answer it. And if you want to create great engaging e-learning in Articulate Storyline, make sure that you get my free step-by-step -step guide on how I create e-learning in Articulate Storyline. And I know for sure that it will help you because it describes my whole process that I use for every e-learning module in Articulate Storyline that I built. And was this video useful to you? Then hit the like button below. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you won't miss any of my upcoming videos.